Good afternoon, dear English teachers in Peru. My name is Pamela Salazar. I'm one of the administrators of this amazing community. Be all of you welcome on behalf of the administration team. Welcome to the spring webinar series. One more webinar today. Yeah, uh, innovation and didactic strategies in English language teaching. The topic of today is a nice and interesting topic. It's titled Developing Listening Skills in the Classroom. But first, please don't forget to follow us on Facebook. There are a lot of members and followers also on WhatsApp, Telegram, YouTube, and TikTok. Please try to subscribe all our uh, social network or social media. Yeah, because you will find different resources uh, that are going to be very useful for you. Remember that in all our webinars, you need to follow some instructions, yeah? Let's see which they are. Remember that you have to type your questions in the comments section. They will be uh, answered at the end of uh, the presentation, yeah? The answers are going to be given at the end, but please remember that you have to uh, write with respect. Yeah, um, of course, you have to be very attentive uh, to what the speakers are saying. Remember that we are going to uh, give the link of our exit uh, of our webinar about the exit ticket. It will be done at the end of the webinar too, after the questions, yeah. We will share a link for you to have access to this and it will be available for 15 minutes only. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that the things are clear. Now, my dear Mr. David Cuadros, are you there? Hello, Pamelita. How are you? Okay, the floor is yours. I'm great. I'm great. I hope you are fine too. Well, my uh, dear, the floor is yours, my dear David. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our webinar. Okay, today we have an spectacular team of teachers from Ecuador. So we are English teachers uh, in Peru, but for all over the world. Okay, so they are going to talk about uh, an interesting topic, but let me introduce them. So in my right side is um, Marta Ogonio who is an English teacher with a master's degree in Pedagogía de los Idiomas Nacionales y Extranjeros con mención en la enseñanza de inglés at um, Universidad Casa Grande. She has worked for two years as an English teacher at Universidad Técnica de Machala. Nowadays, she works at Colegio de Bachillerato Ismael Pérez Pazmiño as an EFL teacher and English academic, academic coordinator. And the other hand, the other side, in the dark side, I guess, uh, is uh, Mr. Francisco Guamantica. Uh, he, he is uh, the project manager, translator, and English teacher with over 15 year uh, experience in teaching to kids, adolescents, and adults, seeking to develop a stronger foundation for the development of the academic and professional skills necessary to teach English in any of the various teaching uh, learning contexts. He works at the Colegio de Bachillerato Ismael Peresto. Well, welcome Mr. Francisco and Ms. Uh, Ms. Uh, Ms. Agonio. We are all ears. Thank you, David. Thank you, Mariela Condorena, for your invitation. We are here in order to share our ways of teaching. So, first of all, let me say thank you very much to all our Peruvian friends because I started brushing up on my skills with all of you. Thank you very much. Okay, here we are going to start our presentation. Let's see. Uh, share our material, Francisco. Okay. Go ahead. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you, David, Marta. Thank you for this, uh, this sharing, this opportunity to, to have a conversation, a webinar. And uh, we're going to share our experience. And I hope you, we can help you uh, to, to deal with this uh, 
beautiful and exciting career that is teaching English. Okay, I'm gonna share what we prepared for you guys. Just a minute. Okay, once you are gonna share, let me greet our closer friends, okay. Wilson Puno, uh, Karen Ayona, Mariuxi Ramos is from Ecuador. So thank you, thank you for being here. And uh, we have more than 2018 viewers. So it's amazing. Okay. Can you confirm? Can you see that? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's okay. Done. Okay. Here we have a presentation. Okay, developing listening skills in the class. Okay, and this presentation can be heard by uh, by learners or by teachers. Okay, uh, because uh, we are gonna share great ideas on how you can improve your listening and activities or listening uh, skills and how to teach listening skills in the class. Okay. Um, this presentation was uh, prepared based on our experience. And, and we tried to, to include everything that teacher is facing and uh, that faced in the past and are facing now and probably we face, they are we facing tomorrow. Okay. That's a great point. That's a great point due to our experience. As we mentioned before in our bio data, you were hearing we have experience in public high schools. So we know something interesting things and we can provide you some suggestions in order to face those problems. Okay, we go ahead, okay. Okay, well, we, it was not necessary to repeat, but well, my name is Francisco and I, I work together with Marta in Colegio Bachillerato, Ismael Perez Padmino. We, we know each other from a lot of time and we are here to help you, okay? So the agenda, I'm gonna read the agenda and we are going to talk today, we are going to discuss about why to teach listening skills, okay? We are going to name some uh, cases and uh, the teaching mode, we are going to work on, to try to focus this on in-class situation or an online situation or blending situation, okay? Because that's what probably is, this situation is gonna be discussed. Your situation is gonna be discussed today here. And we are going to anticipate problems that we are facing, okay, in this teaching uh, career. And we are gonna describe the problem. I, Marta and me, we're going to uh, try to, to tell you what we are facing, or what we faced in the past and how we fix it, okay? Through the solutions. Okay, anything to mention here, Marta? Okay, uh, as we know, in the teaching mode, we have the person, in-person class, and in the pandemic, we started with working with Zoom, Google Meet, and any other online websites. And the most interesting thing, so here in, the, in that time, we were working on some websites and apps. So here is the right place for you because if you are here, if we have more than uh, almost around, uh, yeah, uh -huh, 300 of people. So this is the right place for you because you are interested in getting to know more details about how to fix those problems. Okay, and guys, don't worry about that because we, we're not only going to talk about uh, online situation, but we are going to talk about in-class situations. Okay, so probably that's your case that you don't have technology, uh, you don't know what to do with the things that you are facing now in the class or with the principal. We are going to discuss that. If you have something or if you have a problem that you are facing now, uh, related to this webinar, please uh, mention in the in YouTube in the chat, okay, and so we can give you the best answer we can have. Okay, and we are going to start. Why to teach listening? Okay, that's the big question, Marta. Uh -huh. What do you let think? Me, let me start saying most of learners. 
fail in listening tests. In a while, we are going to share a funny video. <laughs> yeah, um, it's well known for the test takers. We fail in that listening in those listening exercises. So we know that. The, what Cambridge evaluators tell us, yeah, last uh, statistics we have. Most okay. problems in that part. That's very interesting. And I, I have to be honest, when I was a student, um, when I was preparing to be an English teacher, listening section was difficult for me. Yeah, it was difficult. And it's being still difficult for many students, even for teachers. So and that's why we, we decided to work on this webinar to give mm -hmm. you some tips, uh, some uh, techniques, uh, some solutions. To, to fix this, okay? This, thank you, Marta. The second part is lacking, la the lack of uh, planning, focus on listening activities. Okay, what, what I can say here is that uh, many teachers teach grammar, they teach writing, they teach reading, but they forget about listening, okay? To be honest, I don't know why, maybe because they don't have the tools to focus on that, but I could see we in, in the past that even when teachers uh, have the technology, they didn't use it, okay? And that is something that we, we need to fix, okay? Because we are, if you have the tools, you should, you should use it, okay? We are going to talk about this, uh, this topic, the lack of planning, focus on listening activities. Uh, we what have about this, Martin? We have heard some interesting anecdotes from test takers. Most of the time they fail in listening exercise because they don't get accustomed to hearing English. So they didn't pay attention or maybe their teachers didn't take into account in their planning. So at the end, if we are gonna take TOEFL or ILTS or B2 first or CAE, so we are gonna take the listening test. And so here we are gonna share some interesting tools in order to solve those kind of difficulties. Okay. What about no teacher? Today we are going to talk about this situation. Okay. Most uh, students need to listen to the teacher. That's the first thing. Okay, yeah, it's important to use CD players and audios, MP3, uh, but teachers, uh, sorry, students need to listen to the teacher. Okay, and most of the time we can see uh, that teachers don't want to talk in English. Okay, even when they, they, they have a reading activity, uh, they choose the best student in class to start doing that activity, which is good, that's okay, okay, but from my opinion, uh, we, did, we were discussed with Marta, I think that the teacher must be the first person or the model uh, for the students. Because in the English class, uh, learners are looking for a model, okay? Probably the best student is a model, but you need to be the first one, okay? And no teacher talking class could be, it's one reason why we need to focus on listening skills. What about this in Marta? Uh -huh. this, is, nowadays, huh? this is an important point to mention that. So the only source that we have in our class is the teacher talk, as well as we have, as you said before, the tape recorder, the internet, the songs, the movies, or maybe some other times that the teachers caught their attention. So if the teacher is not ready, to say something in English in class, so the students don't have the opportunity to familiarize with the English. So here, the input is very important. We have a trainer who was telling us the input needs to be, you know, um, familiar for the students, uh, engaged and motivating. If the teacher mentioned, for example, a story about um, difficult things, so the students are gonna afraid of listening. We have to, we have to ask 
our students for the interesting things in order to share with them. Otherwise, they aren't gonna familiarize with the English. Okay. One of the, of the ways that, how we can encourage students uh, from uh, learning English is to try to give them an English environment. Uh, maybe you have a one hour class or two hour class. So that's not enough for a student to, to practice English, at least in listening, okay? Because maybe students out of the class don't want to talk, okay? For any reason, because, maybe because they are shy, but teachers must talk to them, okay? Hello, how are you? How are you feeling? If they are in the rest, in the break, during the break time, what are you eating? How are you feeling today? Uh, what tests are you doing now? Or what I want to do after the break? Okay, that is one way we can encourage a student so they can be involved in the listening uh, skill. Okay, well, these four topics, uh, uh, guys, we are going to uh, talk deeply, okay? Let's go with the next one. Give me one minute. Yeah, okay. There we go. Okay, we continue. Why to teach English? And most of learners fail in listening tests. What do mm -hmm. you say about this, Marta? So in our country, we have, it's mandatory for the teachers to take this test like uh, TOEFL, uh, ILTS, or Cambridge English, or the, you know, the, the B2 first or the CAE or the CPE. And so we have another examinations to end. If we are familiarized with the listening, so we are gonna uh, get, uh, we are gonna be successful in that, in that exercise, in, in that exercise, obviously. And most of the time we don't practice. So as the saying says, the more practice, the better we are. And, he, and later on, we have another slide. So you are gonna, uh, maybe you are gonna uh, identify with that experience. So let's share the next one, the next slide, Francisco. You hear it, we go take toys. So. Okay, we're gonna listen here. We're gonna listen a video. Maybe you have watched this video on YouTube or any social media, but that is what, what happened. It happened to me when I was learning English, okay? And I was saying before that many teachers uh, work on grammar, writing, reading, but they forget about teaching, listening. And that's what it happens. I wanna show you this video and that's what happens. Let me check if I'm sharing audio. Just yeah, it's, uh -huh. okay. we, we could hear before. Mm -hmm. So uh, our dear viewers, if you are able to share your thoughts about your experiences or maybe if you are confident with us, please share your experiences. As we were hearing, we are in good at listening. So we, we are here in order to challenge this part. That's why we made up our minds to share this topic. Okay, video is ready, Marta. Okay. Yeah. You hear it recording twice. Dude. I should realize you loading. Oh yeah, I remember I was realizing you loading when we were already Now listen again. I shall raise your OG. Oh yeah, I shall raise your OG. Now you have ten seconds to look at your answers. That's the end of your test. Have you ever experienced that way? So share, share your thoughts in the chat, in the YouTube chat. So I would like to, to read your comments because we, uh, as uh, 
some evaluators comment we fail in that part. So in my case, I feel identified likewise. Totally agree with that, uh, with, <laughs> with that video in our case. Mm. Okay, I want I, I want to see in the in the chat if you if you feel uh, identified with these guys. Okay, tell me. Okay, uh, at least when you were learning English, isn't that true? This is happening in every uh, situation that when the mm -hmm. learners are applying for any um, Cambridge or TOEFL test. Okay, there is one person who's saying, uh, that person is Stella. Stella says, yes, the different accents. So as we heard, that accent is from, I think it's from Indonesia, as far as I'm concerned, Francisco. What do you say? What are your thoughts? What accent is that? Okay, well, if I have experience in TOEFL test, and I have different accents. So, uh, but the thing is here, no matter what accent you, we hear in the future, if you, in the past, you didn't practice or you were not involved in listening activities. So you're gonna, you are not going to understand anybody, anybody. So I remember when I did my first TOEFL test, I could uh, speak English clearly. I could understand some people, uh, my coworkers, but I say, no, I, I understand people, I can talk to them and the test is gonna be uh, uh, easy. But it was a surprise that I found audio that I couldn't understand. That was about 10 years ago, but now I can understand very well because I was involved in, I have to be involved in listening exercise, listening activities that help me to improve that skill, okay? So if this happened to you, that is one reason why you need to focus on listening skills in your classroom. No matter what situation you are facing now, what school you are now, okay? You need, you have one reason now, why you need to focus on, on listening skills. Some viewers are expressing their thoughts. Let me read Silvia Araque. Uh, she says, it's true, it often happens. So um, Catherine Novoa says, the answer to your questions and oh, yeah, someone is asking for comments. Uh, yeah, uh, Rosita Fuentes says, our students are sure when they work in listening tasks because they don't have enough practice. Totally agree with you, Rosita. Mm -hmm. And I want happens. to mention something, uh, Marta. Guys, I don't know if you experienced this, guys. Look, uh, I could see that teachers, teachers work on great lesson plans, reading, writing, grammar. They never using uh, listening. But at the final exam, they have a listening question. Do you think that's fair for students? Okay, they never receive listening activity, but they have one question for listening, a listening section on the final exam. So you have another reason, okay, to start working on listening skills. We go with the next, Marta? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I agree. Why to teach English? The second one is lack of planning focus on listening activities. I was saying something about that. Can you maybe add something, Marta? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, as we were telling before, most of the time teachers, we focus on grammar, reading, writing, and vocabulary. And so if our students are able to take the, at least the A2 or the key English test, so they are gonna face with listening, obviously. They are gonna take the listening exercise. In, at, uh, as we know, yeah, they, they are frustrated. And so uh, probably in our classrooms, we have, um, yeah, there could be a girl, could be a boy who gonna be successful in that test. So what is the secret for that student? The student, most of the time, they, they were listening to each songs. They were get um, used to watching movies. So those are the key, th th those are the key advices, as I would say. And so 
uh, we are proud of getting to know some students that, uh, that they face this, this kind of test. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah, and Marta, I want to add something. Uh, teachers, if this week you are gonna work on a test, final test, and you didn't, you didn't do anything on listening skill splits, clean that section, okay? Be fair with the students. Don't test on listening if you didn't work on that, okay? So for the next term, start working on listening so you will be able to, to work on uh, this section on the test, okay? So we continue, Marta? Yeah, let me, let me share before. Um... A comment from Wilson. Wilson is from Puno. So greetings from Achala. <laughs> so uh, he's asking a question. How similar are the listening stages in comparison of international exams like XE or ECPE, MB2 first or CAE? Could you suggest uh, some tips? So later on, Wilson, I promise you are gonna uh, win, you are gonna be witness of some interesting advices. Uh -huh. So okay. uh, hold so, on. So <laughs> question, I have the answer for that question, Marta, at the end. Okay, yeah, it's a good question, it's a good question. Okay, we will be next, okay? Yeah. Why to teach English? This is the third one. From the beginning, no English talk after class. I was mentioning something about during the break, right? I was talking about when you are at school, okay? If you have the chance to see your students at the break time, please talk to them in English. At least, hello, how are you? But they want to listen. They, they, it, it's not fair to have an English teacher in school and they don't have the chance to listen in English at least outside the classroom, okay? And many people pay a lot of money to have an English teacher, a private English teacher, but use your knowledge to fill in your students, okay? Well, I understand sometimes there are some teachers, they're not feel comfortable, but they don't have enough confidence talking in English, okay? but. I, maybe you have a reason. Maybe your English level is not so good. But my, my, my suggestion is work on listening in your case. Listening activities, listening activities will help you to improve your speaking. Okay, that's true. At the end, I, I want to share one uh, activity that I work with all my students. And I could notice that that activity that I always do works. It's a listening activity that works for a speaking activity, okay? So maybe one of the reasons that teachers don't talk, Marta, because parents claim. Parents get angry, say, my kid don't understand, doesn't understand. My kid doesn't understand English. Why the teacher speaks in English all the time? And some schools, they, they, uh, they force, you to, to speak in English and understand it's good for, 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 for an English environment. Okay. Uh, I would like to because, mention yeah. another thing, uh, uh, Francisco. You know, here in our country in Ecuador, uh, from the author, from the model, modules, she was capable of writing a letter dedicated for the parents. Yeah, you, we know, as we said at the beginning, we are gonna share the real, the true experiences in our classroom. So we know that way when our parents are, as you said, are angry, they, they don't like, they feel like the teacher is gonna punish their, their children maybe, could be one reason. So if we love the way of teaching, so we are gonna be empathetic, yeah? That's the point. The parents are gonna notice our attitude. So if we demonstrate that way, perhaps the parents are gonna change their minds. So we are gonna get involved in this culture because English, 
as someone says, the English opens doors. And we have heard some um, uh, students who graduated, or uh, they are able, maybe they are able to participate for a scholarship. And most of the time, those kind of students, they fail in, yeah, they can't, they can't get uh, the scholarship. The, the only reason is they fail in those international standardized tests. And so that's the, we, we are able of sharing our, maybe our reasons in order to inspire our students, in order to achieve their goals. And so the English is the main requirement to travel to another country and study in another country. So it's not like a, a yeah, you know, a bad attitude to the teachers. It's a, it could be a way for inspiring them. So that's the most appealing thing. Okay, I just want to mention maybe in another webinar we will talk about this uh, when parents explain about uh, why not using Spanish. Okay, yeah, uh, maybe you, if you have this, the, you're facing this situation, uh, be patient with parents. We understand that they get frustrated with this. Okay, try to divide uh, uh, your class. If you are working on listening activity, obviously you have to talk in English all the time. Okay, or maybe you can divide sections. Today we are going to work on grammar. Okay, I want to, I want to speak half Spanish, half English. Okay, so, but deal with the students, talk to them, okay? So the most important thing is that students feel comfortable, okay? Use English, from my experience, I use English when listening activities or listening skills uh, are being focused on, on, that activity, on that activity. But sometimes I use Spanish, okay? When I need to, to explain grammar or if, when a vocabulary is not very easy to use with, to translate with a picture, I, I, I use Spanish, okay? But we can talk about it later on, maybe the next time, okay? Uh, we continue, Marta? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Why to teach English? Another reason why to teach English. Teachers. That's the difference that when we have uh, in a Congress, when we have the opportunity to talk with our colleagues from private or, you know, the, the schools, the, the parents, they maybe when they pay. So it's another thing. So that's why we wrote this, uh, the, this detail, no input outside the classroom. Why is the difference between public and private high schools? They design time or extra time to, to do this kind of things. For example, extracurricular activities, or maybe they engage their students in order to belong to um, English clubs. And so uh, perhaps obviously their parents are capable of traveling, so they have that opportunity. And so in my, in my personal experience, I have worked with participación estudiantil. Here in Ecuador, most of the teachers, we don't like working with that program, you know, those kinds of bureaucratic things. So as far as I am concerned, uh, it was successful for me. <laughs> so I was working with some uh, Peace Corps volunteers. So in the extra time we have shared with those individuals. So our students were able to see the different activities. For instance, we were working with um, bingo. We were working with gastronomy fair, you know, you see? So those kind of things, they are engaged with this kind of events. So due to this experience, they have some interest in order to learn English. Okay, uh, what happens with you, Francisco? This topic, Marta, or no, put, no input, okay, reminds me when I was uh, learning English a few years ago. I was worried because I was in advanced level. I could understand English. I could make a great sentences, great essays, 
but my listening skills were not good. So I was worried, I asked my teacher, he said, teacher, why I cannot speak English? I am in advanced level, okay? And give me some advice. I will never forget his advice because it was one of the best. He told me, Francisco, do you have, uh, we, we call it here in Ecuador, cable TV in, in, at home. Yes, I have, yes, I do, I have it. I watch every day. So my recommendation is watch English news every day during lunch, okay? 30 minutes, which is the normal time or need some news, uh, watch news. But I told my teacher, say, but I don't understand normal movies com in a conversation. Well, I, I was in a bad cinema, I could, I could understand some, but 100%, I couldn't understand. He said, yeah, I know you are not going to understand. What you need, you need this input. Watch it, no matter if you don't understand, just watch it. And if you could see in news, they use a, a difficult English and for English learners, they, they speak very fast. So I follow, I, I follow his suggestion. I started watching, watching English news, watching English news for three months. And this is, this is true. At the third month, I couldn't understand news. I was watching every day, 30 minutes news. After three months, I couldn't understand. Not everything, but I think 80% what I watched, I couldn't understand. So input is necessary. Okay, why? Because students are not going to learn in one hour or two hour class. Okay, they, they have some, they have the chance uh, that time to get some advice from you, how to do, they can get input, okay? And listening activities, you can give prepared a list of suggestions how they can continue getting input uh, because they are getting input in, the, in your class, but they need more. Why? Because we are in, if, especially if you are in a Spanish speaking country, okay? Well, you are gonna listen outside it's Spanish. So, but my example is one, my, my situation was one example, okay? But there will be more, okay? So, Marta. Another, another point I would like to mention, uh, it happened to me. There was a girl who was able to take a placement test in a, in a private uh, academy. It, she was placed in, I think it was for intermediate level. So what was, what was doing that person, uh, she, was, she was watching some films, she was listening to some songs. For her, it was a, it was a custom. It was on the daily basis, their, uh, her practices. At the end, we can see the results. So if you are able to distinguish some of your students, perhaps you are gonna be surprised. Yeah, I promise you are gonna be speechless uh, because no, it's not. Yeah, we know the majority of the students they don't pay attention. However, you have at least some students who inspire you to do the best in your classes. So at least we can say, wow, we we have we did this. Uh, in my case, as um, you can see later on my Facebook. Yeah, you know, we post our wonderful experiences in order to demonstrate we can do. So if we are, if we are patient, if we have enough time in order to share this kind of uh, links that we are gonna do later. So you are gonna inspire your students because uh, they are able. So that's the, the I think it's the, those main tips and some, partners were attending Francisco in the YouTube chat. Some of them were totally <laughs> identified with our experiences. That's why we said at the beginning, this is the right place for you because you know, the, 
our our time you are gonna you are gonna waste your time so our time is rewarding yeah uh, a ver, let's okay marta, it. marta mm -hmm. i have here a uh, liberto martinez he's mm -hmm. mentioned something about uh, pre-listening activities while listening yeah. activities and post-listening activities mm -hmm. yeah we are going to talk about that i think yeah. it's the next mm -hmm. uh, this is really really important Eliberto, it's really important to have that uh, technique to teach listening. Okay. So, uh, thank you, thank you, Eliberto, for those words because I think you were planning with us. <laughs> so, the, uh, I, I know some of you are identified with our cases. So, let's see the next slide, uh, Francisco. Okay, let me ask you something. The, yeah, the, sorry. The teachers. Okay, teachers, tell me. Tell me the chat and, and you too. How you feel? How are you working with input? Are you working input outside the classroom? Do you do you send homework outside the classroom so the students can can get input? Can you mention something uh, in the chat, please? Edith Cardenas is mentioning the students like singing English songs too, even they don't understand what the song is about. Yeah. Totally, totally agree with you, Edith Cardenas. Uh -huh. uh, next, yeah. Uh, a ver. Did you find something? Uh -huh. Nelly Ramos says, you're right. So, mm -hmm. Jacqueline Condori Chavez, uh, she's saying all of them are important. Yeah, mm -hmm. those details. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, Marjorie. Okay, we continue, Marta. Okay, we need to, more to share, guys. Okay, what we have covered is only one section. Okay, but we are going to try to be fast, guys. I know you have time to... to... Sorry to interrupt you, Francisco. Eliberto says, sorry, but not all the students like to do sing songs in class, unfortunately, although is this a good resource? <laughs> mm. Yeah, uh, I think you could you could share with them a survey so you can notice what are they what are the songs you know those those songs that are really familiar. So uh, it, it's it happens to me if I sing with them the the songs, for instance, Hotel California, they are gonna what? And so it's another thing. If I sing with them, for instance, thousand years, and so, uh, or for example, titanium. <laughs> so I, I feel, I feel uh, happy when I'm singing. For instance, my hair will go, on. and most of them are, uh, they are speaking when they are hearing me. <laughs> uh, what, what happens with you, Francisco, when you are teaching those kind of songs? Okay. Yeah, Eliberto, you're right. Not, not many students, I, can, I could see that 90% of the students don't like to sing. And I could say that 100% of them don't like to sing. But that depends how you prepare your class. Uh, last week, I had an experience with my, with my students. I prepared an English class and everybody sang in that class. Everybody, okay? And, I hope to have time in this webinar to, to mention more about this, but well, we can do it in another webinar, how to work with English sounds in class. To be honest, I have been working on this topic uh, a lot, okay? And I have some models and uh, how to encourage them to speak in. Let, uh, me, let me share with and our like viewers. They, all of them sound the song. Oh, okay? Francisco. Let me share. Uh, Soria Ingles is saying I, uh, she has a blind student and she tries to do at least some little listening wow, activities in at class. Uh -huh. So he, uh, he, yeah, sorry, he feels work. confident at class because he can participate. What other strategies are the best for that student? Mm. <laughs> I think we are learning from you, uh, sorry, Inglés. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in my case, uh, yeah, it comes to mind this moment if we are teaching prepositions. So, yeah, maybe you uh, is going to notice what thing is on the table, 
in the bags, perhaps. So I'm learning from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, we we'll go ahead. Okay, we, we, we will cover why to teach English. Teachers, now I hope that we discuss today the reason you need to know why to teach English, okay, is enough. There are, there are more, there are more reasons to teach listening skills, okay? Uh, we continue with the teaching mode. We are going to continue talking about the teaching mode. I know that some teachers here are working on different situations and different environments. Most of the teachers here are, have in-person class. Some of them are working online class and all. Others are working on blending class. So whatever your situation is, okay, these three situation needs, needs lesson plans that need to be focused on listening activities. Okay, there is no reason. There is no reason not to do this, okay? We are going to start with in-person, in-person, which I think most of the teachers are facing, okay? What problems you're facing? Okay, we prepare some topics. Well, you can, in your chat, you can tell me what problems are you facing with listening? Okay, why you are not working on listening? Tell, tell me, guys, tell me why you are not working on listening. Try Taira Janan Gomez, uh, Gomez is sharing. She works in rural area and they don't have internet. Uh, she says she tries to give one song per week in order to increase listening skills. So, you know, there is no excuse if you are working in rural area. Thank you. Thank you, Deira. For Thank you for comment. sharing that. Uh -huh. uh, Marina Mesa is telling my students practice all the abilities in exercises in, you know, the worksheets. Uh -huh. It's amazing. Thank you, Marina, for providing us your wonderful idea. Do you see? I, <laughs> due to our role, we inspire our students. Thank you, Marina. Eliberto, so, oops, Eliberto Martinez, uh, he says he loves to use karaoke. Karaoke, uh, and great. I have That's plenty great. material, it's good way. Thank you, thank you, Alberto. I think you were uh, working with us. <laughs> okay. I worked with karaoke in primary school. They love it, they love it. Okay, Marta, anticipating problems. These are the problems we discussed when we were preparing this. We, no English lab, okay? Yeah. There is a lot of noise. You know, no electricity, uh, no visitors, and no individual trust. Maybe you have another reason why you are not working on listening skill, guys. Are you writing something? Why you are not working on listening skills? We want to see something. Oh, we are seeing that more, oh, most. Eddie it is telling us that uh, her school, her school doesn't have internet. So they can't work listening comprehension every week. Um, mm -hmm. Marta, okay. Marta Soledad, Marta Soledad said it depends the music. Maybe he, she refers to what we're talking about singing. Okay, yeah, let me to be honest. Uh, in my class, when I prepare my class, I, I, I prepared a, a 98, a, a 90 from the 90s, a song from the 90s. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. So guys, eh, eh, students love it. They say in class, okay? But when I say homework and I give you other, other uh, songs from the same, from the 90s, okay? But I, I gave the change so they can, they could choose another one that they decide, okay? And to be honest, they didn't decide my list, okay? They chose another uh, singer, okay? But Maybe because they don't like that kind of music, but when I work with them on class, okay, the, everybody sang. Everybody, everybody did it and very well, and they love it. Okay, so yeah, it depends on the song sometimes, but that's no, uh, that's no. Uh, we can fix that. We can prepare something new for them, for them, something fun or something funny. Why not? Okay. So the thing is to, to encourage them to listen English, 
Okay, no English lab, Marta, no EC, no EC, sorry, no electricity, no visual resources, no virtual, no individual classroom, mm -hmm. okay? So, so we got, if you yeah. are a public teacher, you feel identified, you, you could say, likewise, totally agree. Uh -huh. uh, in this last weeks in our high school, we have the Juegos Deportivos, <laughs> you can imagine the noise. So it's impossible to work. However, we have some mm, appealing activities. So I have a teacher, uh, Luz Adriana, say, I always work the four skills. Excellent, excellent, Luz Adriana. Okay, that's how a teacher must work, the four skills, okay? Uh -huh. Aha, if you are working with sons, you are able to work all the skills. For instance, we know listening, and so the students then are going to be able to read. So uh, at the end, they are going to able to sing. So it means they are going to speak. And uh, perhaps we are going to take time in order okay. to practice lyrics training. They are going to write. In conclusion, you are working with the four skills. Listening. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Edina reading, mm -hmm, writing, speaking. Yeah. Okay. Edina Karena is saying that she doesn't have internet. Okay. Keep watching, Edina. Okay. Because we are talking about that later. Okay. So, no English lab, Marta. You can see that this is a, maybe a problem that many public schools are facing. Mm -hmm. It's okay. our reality. It's, it's so. our reality, no English lab. But that is not a the reason why we cannot uh -huh. work on listening skills. Yeah, you don't have computer. So maybe you cannot bring your computer uh, to school because it's dangerous. Oh, yeah, we understand that. Oh, you don't have internet, Edina Cardenas. We understand that. But that's not a reason why we cannot work with, uh, on, on listening skills. Okay, I give you some tips, okay? Um, solution we can discuss here. WhatsApp, okay? I don't know how you use WhatsApp during the pandemic, but WhatsApp was my best tool for me and for my students to share audios and to share videos too, okay? And this, everybody has this, okay? Most of them, most of the people, okay? So have access to WhatsApp. Is Craig sharing with audios. us? Uh, Francisco is, yeah. is sharing with us. She says, my student choose the song and prepare the performance and single a song. <laughs> single Great. A song, great. Says. Uh -huh. Maria Santillán says she, lo uh, she loves singing. Thank you, thank you. Marina Mesa is telling if you don't have internet, use USB. Thank you. <laughs> so it means uh, we don't have excuses. <laughs> That's the that's the idea. Uh -huh. Miss Juanita, you know, Miss Juanita says she she uses herself her cell phone, okay, to to share the lyrics. Okay, that's great, Miss Juanita. Okay, good, good. Keep work keep working on on your cell phone. It's a great tool. And Marta, uh, Facebook groups. Okay, many people say I don't have internet. Yeah, but all, all of them have Facebook. Okay, yeah. I am not saying that you can work Facebook groups in class. I am talking about uh, outside the class, the input that you can give it outside the class. If you, if you are good uh, using Facebook or you have a Facebook account, it's not gonna be difficult for you to understand how to make Facebook groups. Work on Facebook groups, private groups, where you can join uh, in, a group, in a group of students, where you can have your students join that group. It's like an online class that you can share audios, you can share videos. All of them can, can see you, can listen to you, and you can listen to them. And no one else, and no one else, because it's a Facebook group, it's a private group, okay? If you have I were, oh, Francisco, if I were a viewer, I would say, Francisco, can you share your Facebook group? Do you have a, a Facebook group? Are you working with that? <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you say? I, well, Marta, yeah, I can show you something, okay? I can share something that uh, I can 
So you are a, a group, okay? Are you watching the video now? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. I want to go to a special activity that I, I mentioned before. Okay, let me just give you a few moments here. Do you click on share the audio, Francisco? I was, yeah. I was, I was saying that I have an activity for you to explain. Uh, yeah, here, okay. Uh, it was a listening activity. What I did, what I did, teachers, pay attention and you can take notes, okay? Please take notes because you can work on this activity in class. Number one. Okay, number one. Okay, before the, the direction number one, prepare the audio. If you, or get the audio from your text. Okay, if you have a reading like this that you are watching now, get the audio from the textbook. If you don't have the audio, please record one. Use WhatsApp. You can record one, okay? So send the audio to the students and give the next, the next uh, direction. Number one, listen to the recording for 15 minutes. Explain to them that they have to listen for 15 minutes, but in maybe in a, a inside their bedroom, okay, with no interruption, uh, maybe closing the eyes. Uh, but teacher, we don't understand what the audio is saying. Yes, I know that they are gonna face that. You have to explain to them that they are gonna start getting frustrated that they can't understand, but that's not the, that's not the reason to, to, to stop listening. Okay, what they are doing is that doing input. They are working on input. So 15 minutes listening the audio. The audio is, is gonna last about 90 or one minute. So the second thing they are gonna do is um, listen and repeat while they are listening. But remember that they are not reading yet the first thing that they did is they listen, not reading, they just listen, close their eyes and focus while they listen. The second is listen and repeat while they are listening, okay, for 15 minutes more, for 15 minutes. You can reduce the time to 10 minutes, but not less, please. They need that input. Remember, number one, listen, 15 minutes, just listen. Number two, repeat while they listen. When they repeat while they're listening, uh, they're gonna start getting frustrated because they, they cannot keep the same speed. And please tell them not to stop, continue, because the, the audio is one minute and it's going to be repeated, okay? And the last, the last uh, try is 15 minutes more, but listening, repeated, and now reading, checking what they fail, why they couldn't do well. So, and they will have good results. Let me see. I'm sharing now. My name is Ariana Quesada. And the screen, please, Francisco. Listening? Communication expand and Expand the screen. Award. No, no, you will... expand, expand the screen. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. It's, it's studying abroad. Studying abroad was host a dream. My name is Ariana Quesada. Lesson B. Communication and Cultura Awareness. Studying abroad, studying abroad was host a dream for many people 50 years ago. But now it is a reality for several students. Many universities offer study our programs for a semester or a year. Universities establish in Grimming with foreign school and are able to do a student Asian program. Okay. For example, it's a okay. uh, university in Mexico. Okay. So, yeah. Let me share again. That's enough just to show what you can do. And give me one minute, please. Let me share it again. Okay. While I'm, you are sharing, let me read some comments. Yeah. Ms. Macias is saying so, something that has- Well, been. guys, teachers, the student did well on the, on the, on the reading, 
and most of them, 97%. Uh, so why? Because they did the three steps that I, that I was telling you, okay? So Marta, we continue with speakers. Let me talk about Marta's speakers. You want to say something about speakers? First of all, I would like to read some comments from our viewers. Mm, Eliberto Martinez is taking <laughs> uh, is taking part in our webinar. So thank you for being active here. Eliberto says now we can use videos from YouTube, Spotify, and some apps. So uh -huh. I totally agree with you, uh, Miss Mayorga or Jody Mayorga. In my case, I love singing, so I sing in class. I feel transmit confidence to them. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So if we mention about the speakers, some of our partners, now they may have their minds to bring the speaker to the class. So when somebody is asking for a piece of advice in order to work with listening, I remember a woman from um, Morena Santiago, I think so. Uh, she was asking, uh, I'm gonna work with acompañamiento. Uh, can you suggest some ideas in order to work uh, grammar with them? And so I was asking in private uh, to her uh, the, about the age for those students. And she told me they are teenagers. So I recommend her working with listening songs. So uh, I was speechless when, she's, when she showed me her speaker. So that speaker, uh, she was telling me it doesn't cost more than $20. I, you, did you see? So um, maybe if we, if we save some money. In my case, what I do, if I learn by heart a song, I try to sing. I tell my students, please don't, 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 don't tell other person I'm not professional in singing. So I'm gonna try because you know, we can force them if we don't provide an example. So that, that we, we are, capable of singing, please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. The microphone, Francisco. Okay, my, we have, guys, you have no laugh, I understand. We understand, but that's no reason. You have WhatsApp, Facebook, you, has, you can buy a speaker. Please, it's not very expensive, okay? You don't have internet, but you could have a speaker and use Bluetooth with, you, with, you, with your cell phone, okay? Work on interviewing or storytelling. So here you have some answers and, and some tips what you can do in that's this situation that you have no English now. We'll go ahead with the next one. Okay, we need to go quickly. Okay, noise. Noise, that's, mm -hmm. go ahead, madam. Mm -hmm. We were sharing before our, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, uh, some things uh, you are going to feel uh, likewise with art. Uh, due to the noise, it's impossible to, to pay attention. If you are working in a private uh, language center, obviously, <laughs> if you are working in a language center, perhaps the noise in your class is going to disturb your students. I remember there was a teacher who told us familiarize with that kind of problem because in the real test, we don't know exactly if that examination center is gonna be surround, you know, with this uh, similar image we have in this moment. Uh, in what, way, what can we do in order to solve that problem if, uh, if we are, if we, in, in our case, if we are teaching, we can provide, uh, obviously it's, it's a private center, we can provide headphones <laughs> because the students to pass their test, they need to approve. Otherwise they are gonna waste their money, they are gonna waste their time. And so we know that point is very important. 
So that we have the solution, Marta. If you get noise from the street from, or from the other students that are doing activity outside near your classroom, okay? Find a quiet area, okay? Go maybe to the basketball court or the soccer court, or maybe you have an area where you nobody can interrupt. Take your students to that place, okay? And work on some different activities. The board is not the only tool that you have. Work on running dictations, teacher dictation, storytelling, describing places. You can start describing places. And you're working on listening activities because you are using your English. Okay, not necessary technology here to when you work outside the classroom. Describe the school, describe the basketball court, the bar. Okay. So uh -huh. let me share. What I do in my classes. In my classes, I work with some envelopes, mm -hmm. inside of the envelopes. I provide uh, my students this kind of strips of paper. And what we do we have in those, uh, you know, in, the, in those pieces of papers, we have, for, for instance, where you can see another yeah, day so has gone. Yeah, do you see it's a song by Michael Jackson and so the students are familiarized with the song and so they are able to follow me. <laughs> they are gonna concentrate. First of all, um, when I, I have enough time, I began, I began this activity with a handman game. So the students are gonna uh, guess the name of the song uh -huh. And later, I make groups of four people. So if the, you know, if the classes are bigger, because we were telling you, we are uh, uh, workers from public high schools. And so uh, most of the time I have um, no more than eight or nine envelopes. And so they have this kind of materials. And what they do, they are gonna put in order the song, the lyrics of the song, as they can listen to me. Uh, obviously, uh, most of the time I try to sing um, at least four times. Um, at least I learned by heart that song. Yeah. And later, or as a result of this activity, they are gonna be able to sing just themselves with a song. So the winner, is the group who may who is familiar or maybe the group or the group who are sharing you know the entire at least the the first paragraph not all the song you know it's too long so if we are working just with 30 minutes or 35 minutes yes we are capable of working with one paragraph mm -hmm. That's a great activity, Marta. Okay, and uh, teachers, if you if you don't have anything to take notes, you can watch the video again and take notes. Okay, because this is important. This is a solution for for your problem. Okay, so we continue, Marta. Uh, no electricity. Yeah, sometimes we don't have electricity, or maybe the school have electricity, but in your classroom there is no access to electricity. So you cannot use your, 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 your laptop if you are able to, to bring it, or you can not use uh, your cell phone. Maybe you, you have low charge. Okay, so whatever the electricity is causing you problem. So we have the solution. Okay, what is the solution? We can use flashcards. We can use flashcards. You can bring them, you can create them, or you can have your students make their flashcards for you, okay? And so they can bring it in class as a tool and they can use it. You can work on bingo, the hangman, the telephone. What activity do you work on this situation when you don't have electricity? Can you type guys on the chat? What, what do you do? What do you do when, if you don't have, if you cannot use your cell phone, even your cell phone? Okay, I know you, you have battery, but let's suppose that you do have battery. So what, 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 how do you work? Okay, you can use the flashcards to describe you're working on listening activities. Okay, bingo, it's, it's like dictating. 
But what, what do you do? You can chat on, on, on YouTube and we can learn from YouTube. And again, we say any game, okay? Poster, the hangman, good. I can use the board, good. You can divide the board and do make an activity. Another flashcard, read a book, storytelling. Thank you, David. Wilson Kishpe is sharing voice recorder of the mobile yeah. phones. They're so useful to, to speak and listen. Thank yeah. you, Wilson. Julie Monstaxero is a with speaker with a, with a flash memory, UCB connection, good. If you speak it hard battery, good. We continue with flashcard drawing on the board. Good, drawing on the board. Flashcard, memory games. Yeah, flashcard. Flashcard is, is the top tip here, huh? Good. Henry Torres, uh, he was... Very good. Liliana, Liliana Espejo, describing objects of the classroom. That's good to learn vocabulary. Henry Torres is commenting, he usually creates reading comprehension text and become an audio with online synthesizers. The voices are real. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Henry, for sharing your thoughts. Yeah, Marina. Teachers always have a solution to teach. Yeah, that's how we think. We need to think in that way. Okay, we are teachers and we need to have a solution. Good. We go ahead. Good comments, guys. Thank you very much. You can keep, keep typing in the chat. Okay, we are going to learn a lot from you. Janemos Desdioca. Janemos Desdioca is sharing something. She sends videos in her WhatsApp groups. Class for you. <laughs> Thank you. Edith Carden, I say I can use flashcards, spelling, repetition with mimics, and they love repeating. Yeah, repeating is one of the techniques how to, to acquire listening and English listening activities. No flashcards, doing a fruit salad, flashcard. Okay, good. good. Thank you guys for your comment. Okay, thank you for sharing your knowledge. That's great, that's great. We continue on, Marta. Mm -hmm. cool. mm -hmm. It's fixed, you have the solution, guy. Okay, I don't know if we have it. I had a high experience with this, Marta. This was a terrible experience. Okay, so no individual classroom for primary school. Maybe you are facing, who is facing this? Who is in the primary school and you need to share the classroom? Please tell me in the chat. And the teacher is next to you. He, he, she or he is fixing, she is working on some exams or checking homework when you are teaching. And so suddenly he or she interrupts your class reminding her the social studies homework. You had that experience if you work in the primary school. High school students, uh, they don't face most of the time this situation. Can you see, can you read something, Marta, about this, what is the teacher are saying? Yeah, Eliberto, yeah, you read <laughs> Eliberto's comment. Uh -huh. yeah. Liliana Espejo is writing, record the dialogues, with classmates in WhatsApp, Nieve, Nieves Oroche. Uh -huh. She says flashcards and bingo. Robert mm -hmm. Arasumena, auxiliar. I, I don't understand your comment, Robert. Please, see please if you please can get more the, details. Okay. Another, another webinar about games. Yeah, you can work on that, good. Now we focus on, on the solutions that you need you need not to have excuse, not, not teaching listening skills. Flashcard, poster, okay, doing it, okay. Okay, guys, uh, not in the middle classroom. If you're facing the problems, let me explain the problem because this happened to me, okay? Uh, you go to the class, to one classroom, one hour, and the second hour you have another class in another classroom, maybe the next one, or maybe you have to walk uh, 15 or 100 minutes is to go to the next classroom with your laptop, with your speaker. That's annoying. To be honest, that's annoying, very tiring. Okay. And even if when the teacher 
the the principal teacher is in the classroom. You are working on listening activities, and suddenly she interrupts you and, and they say, "Hey, students, don't forget about tomorrow social studies." Oh, I forgot about to tell you tomorrow you have to bring the science notebook. And you say, "What?" So that happens to me. I don't know if you are facing a, you face something similar. Okay, what can you do? What can you do in these situations? Okay, the situation is, is, I don't know, here we know, we know are working maybe on, on, a, on a, it looks like it's not, nothing about listening skills, but you cannot work on listening skill here if we have interruptions all the time. Read comments from Maria del Carmen. Okay. Uh -huh. She's answering your question. Checking. We do so sometimes they don't. One student sing or clap. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, they say the, the tutors are checking. That's great. If they can help you to, to keep discipline there, that's okay. They don't, should you say that teachers don't want to, don't want the students to sing? or clap, I understand what she's trying to say here, right? Because of the media, because of the internet, okay. Okay, now. Perhaps the students are afraid of uh, participating in class due to the, <laughs> the supervisors, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps, Maria Carmen. Okay. Uh -huh. No, uh, however, you know, the, your, your students, are gonna demonstrate what are you teaching? So I think if your students yeah. are confident with you, they are gonna show off, uh -huh, of and, course. And Liberto is, all, is, all, is also again mentioning something that like he has to take the cassette to cassette player from one room to another room. Yeah, I remember that I have to uh, bring, I, I, I always bring my laptop with class and I had to turn off the, the laptop Turn off the laptop, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off. And so that's annoying. Even if it's bad for your laptop. Okay. So, well, what is the solution, guys? I'm going to tell you what I did. Okay. And probably it, it could be a good advice, but think about uh, what I am sharing today because it works for me. It works for me. Okay. So, solution. Okay. So I can have listening activities, talk to the principal. Talk to the principal and, and tell him or tell her about this situation, but talk kindly, okay, gently uh, in a good way, okay? Talk to the principal and try because she or he uh, can learn from you too. You can explain to the principal because she's not an English teacher. She, she doesn't know, he or she doesn't know, whoever it is, he or she doesn't know how important English is, or how important it is to have a, our own classroom. So talk to the principal, but not just one talk. Talk every time that you can, kindly. Tell her, tell him the importance of having your own classroom. And during the talk, include, please, uh, I really need to have a classroom. It's really important for the students. And if it's possible, please give me a speaker too and a microphone and a data show. I did that, to be honest. I did that and one year. It took me one year to talk to the principal, explaining, explaining the, the reason why it's important to have one classroom, why it's important to have a speaker, a microphone, an environment, an English environment, so I can work on listening activities. So, and it worked, worked. So the next year I got the, the classroom. I got the, the, I got the speaker, I got the data show, I got internet and even air conditioner. So talking, I think is the best, one of the best solution, but not only to the principal, talk to the primary school teacher who is always there, especially if he or she interrupts your class. Talk, talk to, this teacher and tell them, I, I need my space. I need my space, yeah. Please, you, you have many hours to, to remind the student from the next homework, but please give me my space. But kindly, always being friendly, 
Okay, that's the best way you can you can keep uh, co-workers at school. Okay, and sometimes parents worry about that, and you can talk to them too, kindly and formally. Say, yeah, the parents say, why don't you teach it? Why don't you have your own classroom? Why you have to 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 share that classroom? You can go to another classroom and use a microphone. Yeah, so many parents talk to me in that way. You say, yeah, that's a good idea. Why don't you talk to kindly and say that to the principal? Talk to her and tell her that your kid need an English classroom because English is important. And you are in that school because everybody is telling you that the teacher is great in English and the teacher needs all the tools. So because your kid is, is studying there and you need the best education, okay? That's my solution from my experience that I can share for you, for you, for you. Okay. So if, if you have another solution or you are facing this situation, guys, are you reading something, Marta? Yeah. Um, let's see. To be honest, we said 50 minutes to this webinar. <laughs> we are more than one hour, 36 minutes. Okay. Okay, we'll continue. Yeah. Thank you, just one. I think we make the English classes creative, nice students. Thank you, Luz Adriana. Thank you, Liberto. Thank you, Tirsa, for your comments. Robert, David, thank you for comments. I'm to be honest, I'm gonna read all of them. I'm gonna uh, find a way to share more information for you. Uh, think about you. What's your case? What's your case, guys? Tell me in the chat, please. Yeah, Luz what are you facing? Luz Adriana. I think that that uh, comment is really essential for us. She says, I think if we make the English classes creative, nice, and the students enjoy them, they want to learn it. They, they lose them. My students tell me all the time and they are little children from school. Hmm. Yeah, Maria del Carmen, Urbina, she's saying, when the school is small, the other teachers don't agree uh, with the noise. They believe that the best classes is that in which the students are always listening and writing all the hours. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. yeah, Carmen. Yeah, Carmen. I always mention that Carmen uh, to talk about the, the primary school teacher. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Online, we continue with the online situation. Okay, here we have, we discussed some guys, we have some ideas for teachers, especially for teachers who are working online. Okay, if you have, if you have facing this, uh, which is a great experience, and uh, here we, we share some, some tips, some websites, so you can work online. And it's really important here uh, to, to check the website first, to understand the website, so you can direct your students to this, this English environment so they can have the best experience on listening skills, okay? Let me share some of them. No. So can you, can you see the- The next one? Someone, oh, I need your help partners. Okay. I'm not able to share it. So if you want, if you are capable of uh, sharing those links in your internet, please. Yeah, Keep let me just finish before you go, uh, Marta, with this. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, Marta is going to share, she's going to share a website, okay, uh, that has this process, see? Eliberto, maybe you mentioned something about this, pre-listening, while listening, and post-listening. And the listening activities is really important. Well, that's one of the best techniques so you can keep you, you, your students working on listening activities. Okay, I can, I'm going to stop uh, sharing, Marta, so you can share uh, you, this website, ESL Lab, okay? Okay, uh, to be honest, I'm not able to share it, the Check it. screen. So yeah, here is the first, the first link, please, Francisco. Uh, you want me to share? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, I'm done. Yeah, thank you, thank you, partners. So here is the first link that we were watching on your screen. Uh -huh. it, I think it's well known this website. So if we are 
uh, if we are busy. So here we have our alternative in order to inspire our students, to be honest. Here, as you can see, we have the easy, intermediate, difficult uh, level. Okay, let's uh, click on easy. What can we find here? Mm -hmm. Here we have more than 50 topics, I think so. Uh -huh. If you are interested in getting to know more about this, it, maybe that topic is related with the unit that you are teaching. So this is the great opportunity to work with our students. It could be an extra activity. Okay. Uh, if you are a novice teacher, so let's provide more details about these ones. As you can see here, uh, uh, Francisco was sharing the pre, during, and post listening. So it means PTP. Um, it's a technique from TISOL. Okay, it's a TISOL technique. Um, <laughs> you know, the, the, the world is smaller. Those techniques, uh, the author is mm, Mary, Mary Chul, and so that is a, a woman who's gonna share in the next days, she's gonna share a webinar with uh, uh, Jaime and Kahima. So uh, later you are gonna meet some more info about that woman. Okay, that is the author for the technique. So if you are uh, studying English, you can talk to, with the authors for that, uh, advice methods, approaches, or techniques. Okay, here we have the pre-listening exercises, and next we have the idiom, okay? For instance, we have crack the books and cut clacks. So uh, it's uh, providing the meaning, and after that we have the audio. Here we have the questions and options, okay, related to that one. So it takes time for us if we decide to, to do this. So here we can copy and paste <laughs> and our students are gonna be able to do this. So as you saw before, mm -hmm, it, it's relating to the different levels. At the end, you can find vocabulary practice, post listening exercises and online investigation. So maybe you are gonna send this as a homework. Okay, apart from that, mm -hmm, we have this one, British Council Learn English. It's the same procedure. Nonetheless, there is an extra uh, thing. If you are, uh, well, this is skills, and our topic is listening. Okay, here we can find, it's the same like levels, for instance, we, we were, uh, seeing A1, and so it here, here is listening. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see more. That's the, that's, yeah, this is the way. A1 listening. So click on this part. For me, this is very, very useful. It's the topic and in addition, you can find the audio. So you can download it, the audio. You can download it because with the previous web page, we are not capable of downloading. So in this case, mm -hmm, if you see the three dots, we have the option to download it, this material. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. This is TED Ed. It's right now like a TED Talk. Uh -huh. uh, if you are teaching for B2 or C1 learners, so this is the right website. And students start here. So, what can we find here? Um, a ver, there is a topic that I love so much. Uh -huh. what, what is this here? For instance, this is the, if you are into with this one, mm -hmm. a ver. you have this 
these steps, watch it, the video, it says, I think, um, ver, it's not available now. <laughs> I think my internet is driving me crazy. So um, in, the, in the common tech talks, uh -huh, we have the option only to watch the video. And here we have more steps like think, dig deeper and discuss. What happens with think? You have two questions and we are not able to see. Yeah, this is the one, uh -huh. learn more about the topic and think two, mo two multiple choice and three open answer questions. And at the end, you are gonna discuss. So it is free, I uh -huh. believe me, it is free. Uh -huh. For instance, let's see. If, once we watch the video, <laughs> we are more than one hour, 45 minutes. So that's why I made up my mind to share just the, the main characteristics of these tools. Uh -huh. So you are gonna select one of these what if you were listening to that video. And later you're gonna write your name, save the name of if somebody is working with that name, so rename. Yeah. Oops. Aha, uh -huh. so yeah, now let me see. Okay, save your answer. So we were clicking at random. So later, video hint. And you are capable of seeing one more time. Mm -hmm. And at the end, you are gonna hear the main detail about that question. I think you, you are able to, to listen to that one. Yeah. And later you have the opportunity to discuss. And so at the end, you can find two guided discussions. And what else? and nine open discussions. And at the end, we have the lingo clip, and this is the lyrics training. Here, <laughs> we have some uh, friends, with some closer friends. Here is Edgar Contreras from Colombia. Edgar was telling me this tool was completely new, even for Francisco. And so, but how are you gonna work with this? This is lovely. The, uh, this link you are gonna share with your students. Yeah, for instance, in our case, we love this music. So this is an example. Obviously we have to respect our students' taste. You know? Yeah, this is the lemon tree. Uh -huh. And you have the option to select one of these. For instance, we have principiante, intermedio avanzado, or experto. So if you, opt for one of these in the first one, rellenar, or you are able to fill 29 words from 290 words. So it means 10%. If you are an expert, so you are gonna able to fill in the, those ones. So let's see what happens with the first one. So please select the one because it's modo selección, yeah? I have this in, in Spanish, my apologies, uh-huh. Um, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's not mandatory to pay for any price. So this is without charge. Mm -hmm. okay. Let's click on this, and we're gonna able to hear the song. So, type your answer on YouTube chat. Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, you're right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm just another rain is the afternoon. Nights in my time. Yes. What happens if we fail the answer? So, uh -huh. imagine I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna do it with but so we know it's incorrect. Uh -huh. You can you see the the red bar is decreasing, so it means we have another chance. Uh -huh. So if we finish this arrow, we don't have more opportunities. Oh. One more time. <laughs> I'm 
research what is happening. Okay, so at the end, I'm gonna I'm gonna die with this one. Uh -huh. I hope these tools you are gonna find incredible, uh, fruitful for you. So let's see, what do we have? Uh, mm -hmm. Francisco, turn on your micro. Yeah. yeah, great tool, guys. You have you have the links there. Uh, I share some on YouTube, but you can watch again the video and take notes. Okay. The, the, the important thing here on these tools that Marta was showing is that they have pre-listening, while listening, and post-listening process, which is really important on this topic, developing listening skills. Okay. So um, we're gonna go faster. We want we're taking a lot of time on this. A learning process, the second tool that he was she was saying it was how watch, I think, and deep deeper and discuss. Okay, um, yeah. Here the, are the characteristics of what Marta was saying. Uh, you listen and you have the chance to choose one, uh, one uh, word that you listen during the song. Okay, and you can see the fails, the hits, and the bonus that you get. Okay, good. Here you can you have some apps, guys, uh, English apps um, that you can go with your cell phone and find because cell phone is a great tool. Take a take a screenshot so you can look for these apps and find the way how to use in the classroom. Guys, listening activities, focus on listening skills. Students need it. Okay, As students need it, and there are many ways. No matter if you have a lab or if you don't have, I sh we show so some solutions. There are more, but I know that you are a great teacher. Okay, find a way how you can work on listening activities. If you are working on four skills, that's great. That's great. Teach other teachers how to do it. Okay, we are teachers, remember, and we have to do our best to keep our students learning. Okay, so we really thank you so much for your attention. Okay. Uh, we are really happy. We're very happy to share you guys. And we have we hope to have the opportunity to as the next opportunity to continue talking about this, uh, talking about some topics, the strategies, some methods, or games. Some teachers mentioned that they want to know about games. Yeah. But we find solutions, we share today some solution and some tips how to work on listening skills. Thank you so much, Marta. Thank you so much on behalf of English teachers in Peru for this wonderful presentation, for uh, sharing your knowledge with us, these interesting strategies, tips. Uh, really, really, I'm really, really grateful for this webinar and thank you so much, dear Francisco and Marta. Please, uh, can you stay with us some minutes more because we have some questions for you. Sure. Okay, great. So I have some questions. Ah, first, uh, we have some greetings for you too. Uh, some greetings from all the teachers around Peru, obviously. Most of the teachers that are connected are English teachers in Peru, but we have another greetings from other teachers. Uh, for example, Edgar Contreras says, good, good evening from Colombia. Thank you for the invitation. Glenn Distapia, I am from Ecuador. To Martita, Francisco, and another teachers from Mexico, Argentina, Panama. They are so, so, so happy with this presentation. So the first question uh, for you is, uh, Wilson. Wilson says, um, how recommendable or useful would be teaching with bilingual songs like Spanish and English to teenagers or adult students? Also, it would be useful to teach grammar through these songs too? Okay, that's a great question. It's a great question. Look, I, I have experience, I was saying in the presentation, don't focus on grammar. Don't focus on grammar on the on the on when you work, want to work on sounds, okay? Forget about that. You have another another class to work on grammar, okay? Focus on pronunciation, focus on fluency. But the most important thing is that you, teacher, you need to be the first that sing that song, okay? Before you students. 
uh, choose just one paragraph, okay, of this song and work on that paragraph. Paragraph has uh, four or three lines, no more. Work on that, but sing that song. They can show you. They, you can start doing a uh, show, sing first. The second part, you can, what you can do is sing the first line and ask them to repeat. Okay, this sing the second line and ask them to repeat and go like that. Okay, so the next uh, step that you can work is sing the first line, they sing the second line. Sing the third line, they sing the fourth line. So you are getting involved students in the song. At the beginning, they don't want to, but if you work in that way, okay, I'm sure they're gonna be happy. They're gonna be happy. And so at the end, at the end, and when you practice a lot with them, eh, ask them if they want to do it alone. Most of them are gonna say no. But what I did, I, I shared with them and say, guys, next week is gonna be, there's gonna be the final exam. And I have two points for the one that wants to sing right now. You can, if two points is too much, okay. Well, too many points, well, one point at least, you say. And they start raising their hand. Teacher, teacher, me, me, I want the point. Okay, and six students sing along. Okay, so guys, you want two points? Okay, I need more students. You can do it in pairs if you want. Now, shy students start looking for another, another partner. You say, yeah, teacher, we, we, we want to try. We want to try. And they finish working on three, a group of three, but most of them want to serve. The time it was over and I couldn't continue with more students that they want to say, they wanted to say. Okay, I hope uh, this, uh, this experience helped you. Okay, thank you so much for your answer, Francisco. Maybe you, Marta, uh -huh. uh, could you add some ideas? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Due to our role, we may awareness of teaching with songs is not advisable. Uh, you know, uh, we can say, we can teach grammar. So we know poetry or poems, even songs, are not a good way to, to teach grammar. We know some songs, you know, we can say at all. So, however, some songs, we can say the first condition, we can teach the first condition and the present simple. And the majority of this, we can't, we can't take that point. That uh, I, we can not notice in some songs that problem. So, if you are gonna work uh, in that way, so select carefully. Pay attention in that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mariana. Thank you, dear Marta. Now, okay, uh, we have another question from Carlos Pariachi. He says, which are the most needed capacities commonly to develop listening activities in class? Can you say it again the question? I understand the first one, please. Yeah. So, which are the, the most needed capacities? The most needed capacities commonly to develop listening activities. The capacities, I, I, I think that uh, he's talking about the capacities that we need to develop this skill. Uh, is, we're talking about the English, the English teachers level. Oh, uh, not not exactly. The resources. Uh, to develop listening activities in class. Um. Well. Uh, I mean, I will understand is that he doesn't know what to do on listening skills. Okay, is that is that correct? Yeah, it could be. I suppose that um, the questions refers to maybe in, in fair information or uh, some uh, capacities uh, that are into the listening skill. Okay, okay. Let me find. Let me try to to figure this out. Um, if, you're, if you mean that you cannot, uh, you are not very good at listening, okay? We, we, we need to learn. As I mentioned before, I was not very good at listening when I was, when I was in a bad level, when I was learning English, okay? We need to teach ourselves. We need to teach ourselves because you are a model. You are a model in the class. So you need to be great great in, in everything, grammar and writing. Okay, I, we, I understand, 
I understand is that the case that your, your listening skill is not good, but you can improve it. You can improve it. I give you one example. Watch again the video and follow that example. Okay. There are many ways that you can you can be involved in listening. Okay. We now we have the technology where you can use audio while you're going work to work while you are walking in the park. Use audio, English audio. Try to use English so you can improve. That 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 if the question means that your knowledge of listening skills. If the question means about that you don't you are good at you can listen. Your listening skills are very good, and but you don't know what to do. Well, look for the information in the internet. There are rich information in the internet. What to do that? But the most important thing is in your planning, in your plan. Take notes of everything that is happening in your class. Why something didn't work? I analyze, when you finish the class, you listen in class, analyze step by step, why didn't, didn't that step work? And what you can do to improve it, okay? In that way, you can go the next class and the next class, you can go improve it and improve it and improve it, okay? But planning is necessary. Take, get, uh, taking a register of the planning and comments, feedback, maybe from other coworkers, you can invite uh, teachers to, to watch your class and comment, okay? That's the best thing to learn how to, to, to work on listening activities. I, I was very bad at listening uh, songs at, at first, I, I have to be honest, but I did that and I worked on every step, what I did wrong and how I could improve it. And now I am sure that someone asks me to teach songs in class, my students are gonna be very happy at the end. Why? Because I worked alone. I failed a lot, okay, but I improved it. Thank you so much, Francisco and Marta. Can you continue with some uh -huh. ideas? To sum up, we have to recognize we are not good at listening at all. However, we are here to overcome this difficulty. So it is a challenge for us and here we are gonna overcome this problem. Those technological tools, some websites, some apps, our study bodies were sharing with us. So if, it, if those apps work for them, it works for us. Mm -hmm. That's the, 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 the great point. Thank you, thank you so much, Marta. So this is the last question for you. Um, Luz Adriana Jaramillo Villegas. Uh, she says, how I can work the listening skill with children with special needs? Mm, that's a good question. What kind of special needs he has, okay? I'm going yeah, to it depends. <laughs> uh, I get, depends. It depends what the special really needs. But what I can tell you from kids, Look, I have experience. Let me tell you something about my experience. At the beginning, I didn't like teaching kids. See, to be honest, I, I, I avoid teaching kids. But I, one day in, in 2008, uh, I directed hired me and say, I want you to work in my school. Yeah, sure, I love, I love to, but, you told me, but I have kids for you. Second grade, third grade and fourth grade. So I need a job, I needed a job. So I say, well, I am a teacher, I need to learn how to teach them. Okay, I, I, and I, I check and I review a lot of uh, information, journals, uh, thesis, and many information that I could reach my knowledge. So now I love teaching kids. I love teaching kids. And sounds, sounds as a great tool, tool for kids. They memorize it. Even if I have one, my first experience with song, it was what, uh, kindergarten, preschool. And I remember that I started 40 minute a class singing a song, a very beautiful song. I recommend this, uh, oh, I forgot the, the video. What? I am talking too much of my video, I forgot. Uh, super simple songs, super simple songs. Visit that website, super simple songs. They are great for kids, for any age, uh, primary school. So I send that song and they love it. They repeat in class, in class. It was not 40 minutes. I remember now it was a 30 minute class. It was Monday. The next Monday, the next Monday, they were waiting for me happily. 
say, teacher, teacher, we need to, we need to sing that song. I say, what song? And there's, they started singing the song. They could remind the song. They could remember the song. That was amazing. I didn't write the song. They couldn't read, obviously. They were uh, preschool. But they could remind, remember the song. So that's great. And I noticed that it, working with song with kids, okay, it's great. I don't know what kind of special need he has, but if you can hear, if we can listen, work on that, work with song. Visit Super Simple Song. I recommend that website. I am sure you're gonna find a lot of songs for this kid, okay? Because if you are asking, because he can listen, okay? If he can listen, that's enough to work on listening skills. Thank you so much, yeah. Uh, Super Simple Songs uh, has a, a uh, great website and a uh, YouTube channel too with uh, beautiful videos and really nice songs. Uh, I, I think it's a great, great resource for developing the listening skills. Now, uh, this is the last question. Please, thank you so much again, dear Francisco and Marta. Please stay with us some minutes more. We are going to continue with some information for you, English teachers. Now we are going to check what do we have for the next week. Dear Gina, are you there? Can you share the invitation for the next week, please? Yes, hello. Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, Mr. Francisco and Ms. Marta. Good evening, Ms. Mariela. So, Next week is our last webinar, and that is going to be presented by Mrs. Cristel Oyola with the topic, How to Align Your Learning Experience to the Common European Framework. So you can miss it. No lo podemos perder este último webinar, ya que la asistencia va a valer doble, y aparte es una invitada eh, especial, right, por British Council. Va a haber sorpresas, así es que colegas, este, los espero el día en nuestro próximo webinar, right? Thank you. Muchísimas gracias, Miss Gina Soplopuco. Sí, definitivamente eh, con esto ya cerramos la próxima semana. Miss Soyola viene en representación del British Council con un excelente webinar tan tan importante para nosotros el alinear nuestras experiencias de aprendizaje a, al marco de referencia como europeo, de acuerdo a los niveles, y tenemos una sorpresa o un premio, podríamos decirlo así, un recurso muy, 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 muy importante que lo vamos a compartir en vivo en la misma transmisión y para ello tienen que estar todos conectados. Así que ya saben, eh, imperdible, la próxima semana, Saturday 26. Y continuamos entonces, ahora sí, compartiendo nuestro exit ticket. Mrs. Córdoba, está por ahí nuestra querida administradora, Miriam. Yes, Miss, I'm here. Ok, share the exit ticket, please. Sure. Uh, thank you so much for this amazing presentation, Miss Marta, Mr. Francisco. And thank you so much all the teachers who are connected with us. Don't forget our next speaker is uh, Mrs. Loyola, who is a great invite for us. And we know all the, um, all the background about her. Now, here is the um, most exciting. This is the exit ticket. No olvidemos que debemos de tener en cuenta de tomar una captura de imagen, only just in case. Uh, a veces nos suelen decir de que no, no ingresa, pero si usted va a tomar en cuenta y copia literalmente tal cual se les va dando las letras, entonces no va a haber ningún problema. También va a estar fijado en nuestro chat y recorremos que solo está uh, disponible 15 minutos. Todos los que rellenan este exit ticket correctamente en el email van a poder recibir los materiales que nuestros invitados de honor el día de hoy nos están compartiendo. Ok, empecemos entonces https dos puntos doble slash c u t 
T.L. Y slash todo mayúscula S P R I N G X I y, y mayúscula. Este es, este es el exit ticket, hay que tomarlo en cuenta, por favor, solo tenemos 15 minutos. Ok, empecemos entonces inmediatamente a llenar nuestro exit ticket. Muchísimas gracias a nuestra querida administradora. Gracias, Miss Miriam Córdoba. Eh, sí, ya está abierto. Salía un principio po, como para no llenar, pero ya está abierto el exit ticket. Lo pueden completar. Algo muy importante, por favor, eh, recuerden que para que se pueda enviar todo el material que amablemente los ponentes dejan para compartir con toda la audiencia, es importante que respondan de manera satisfactoria las preguntas. Uh, desde el webinar del día de ayer y el día de hoy, vamos a considerar eh, que las preguntas sean eh, respondidas de manera satisfactoria, al menos eh, la mayoría de ellas, ¿sí? Porque eso es una prueba para nosotros de que hemos estado atentos al webinar y es con estos maestros que han respondido efectivamente que vamos a compartir el material. Sin embargo, para el 100% de maestros, obviamente, pues el registro de asistencia cuenta, ¿sí? Pero los recursos con quienes aprobemos el exit ticket, que estoy segura que va a ser el 100% porque hemos estado súper atentos y la información que nos han dado ha sido una información genial, súper clara. Bien, nos despedimos ya con eh, este maravilloso equipo de administradores de nuestra comunidad English Teachers in Perú, a quienes pueden ver en pantalla cada uno de ellos que hace posible, eh, o ha hecho posible ya desde hace 12 sábados exactamente, 12 semanas que estamos con nuestros webinars y ya punto a punto de cerrar, muy felices por toda la acogida y muy felices también por llegar a, a ustedes con, con una capacitación que estoy segura que va a fortalecer nuestra formación pedagógica. Y bien, dejamos de compartir para poder encender las camaritas a todos los que estamos presentes, querido Francisco, Marta, Pamelita, Miriam, nuestros administradores que están por ahí, por favor. Eh, una vez más, a nombre de toda la comunidad de English Teachers in Perú, esta es la primera vez que tenemos a Marta Ogoño y a Francisco Guamantica, y déjenme decirles que ha sido una eh, excelente experiencia tenerlos aquí, uh, escuchándolos, eh, uh, compartiendo con nosotros toda su, eh, su experiencia, todos sus conocimientos, Súper interesante el tema de hoy, los materiales, los tips, las estrategias compartidas de todo, de todo corazón a nombre de los más de 500 maestros que han estado conectados el día de hoy de diferentes partes de, del mundo, sobre todo Latinoamérica, creo, y de Perú. Miles, miles de gracias. Muchísimas gracias por esa nobleza, por ese corazón de aceptar nuestra invitación para poder compartir con los maestros, querida Marta, querido Francisco, tal vez algunas palabras para despedirse. Mil gracias a ti, Mariela, por hacer esto posible. Sinceramente, en este tiempo de pandemia, ha surgido esta linda amistad en los grupos de WhatsApp. Nos hemos dado tiempo de ponernos también en los zapatos de los otros. Y gracias a ustedes hemos podido también atender a nuestros estudiantes de la mejor manera. Pues este trabajo tan enorme que ustedes lo hacen con tanta voluntad y un equipo tan grande que puede desde sus espacios ¿no? hacer un mundo mejor. Mil gracias por invitarnos. Un honor haber estado con ustedes. Muchas gracias a ti y desde ya pues este esperamos que tengas un espacio más adelante también para que puedas seguir compartiendo con la comunidad, querido Francisco, algún mensaje de despedida tal vez. Mariela, queridos colegas, teachers, muchas gracias por su atención, fue un placer realmente compartir y, y nuestra experiencia junto con Marta y realmente estamos muy contentos de estar aquí, de haber, esperamos que les haya ayudado, ayudado en algo nuestra experiencia y y no olvidamos que somos profesores, somos colegas, somos docentes y, y siempre vamos a estar aprendiendo uno del otro. Sí, así yo voy a leer mucho esos chats que están en, la, en el video grabado para aprender mucho de ustedes y qué es lo que necesitamos aprender para la próxima oportunidad de, si la tenemos. ¿okay? Gracias a ustedes, colegas, y, y Dios les bendiga mucho. ¿okay?
Gracias, muchas gracias Francisco, esperamos volverte a tener también en la comunidad, Con, se han quedado por ahí, han dicho que falta todavía una clase más para poder seguir hablando sobre esto, se han quedado pues enganchados con el tema, realmente el listening sabemos es una competencia, una de las más difíciles de desarrollar con nuestros estudiantes y hay mucho todavía por aprender seguramente. Mil gracias Francisco, querida Marta, una vez más. Conmigo el equipo administrativo, Miss Miriam Córdoba Soto, el día de hoy que se encuentra ahí, Miss Gina Evelyn Soplocupo, que está por ahí, Miss Soplocupo, Miss Pamela Salazar, se encuentra ahí también, muchísimas gracias. Miss Julia Millones, nuestra querida querida Julie en la comunidad, Miss Maite Flores, querida Maite, Miss Jessica Carguavilca, que está también con nosotros, estamos en este momento seis de los más de 20 administradores que estamos detrás de toda la organización en la comunidad, muchísimas gracias también a nuestro teacher José Ortega, quien ha estado detrás de toda la transmisión, y nos vemos la próxima semana, English Teachers, bye bye.